My name is Terumi Kobata. I'm a registered dietitian, sports nutritionist, and a sake specialist. I am going to talk about healthy ways to drink sake. Sake is the national alcoholic beverage of Japan, and it is said to have a good effect on health and beauty. So without further ado, let's begin. Since old times, it has been said that sake is the chief of all medicines and that moderate amounts will help to maintain or improve health. Take a look at this graph. It shows the results of an epidemiological survey regarding amounts of alcohol consumed and mortality rates. As you can see, those who consume moderate amounts of alcohol have a lower mortality rate compared to those who do not drink and those who drink excessively. This tendency is said to hold true throughout the world, irrespectively of ethnicity, gender, or regional differences. There are a number of likely reasons why moderate alcohol consumption is associated with a low mortality rate. Let's look at the specific health benefits from moderate consumption. The first is an appetite-stimulating effect. Alcohol stimulates the mucous membrane to secrete gastric juice, and this gastric juice in turn stimulates the appetite. The second is a stress-releasing effect. Moderate sake consumption stimulates the part of the brain that regulates reason and intuition, helping to release stress and make you invigorated and cheerful. The third is a relaxation effect. Japanese sake contains large amounts of amino acid and sugar that make humans feel relaxed. Specifically, amino acid is a flavor component of umami, or savoriness. Finally, drinking sake helps prevent ischemic heart disease. Sake contains adenosine. Adenosine is a neurotransmitter inside RNA molecules which conveys genetic information, and it helps to dilate your blood vessels. Sake contains large amounts of adenosine, so it is very good at improving the blood flow. So, those are some of the health benefits that you can get if you drink a moderate amount of sake. I will now give you some examples of the aesthetic benefits. The active ingredients of Japanese sake are used as hair growth agents and hair tonics. Japanese sake contains substances similar to glycerin, and so it can help moisturize your skin. Japanese sake is said to be better than other alcoholic beverages at raising and maintaining body temperature. A rise of body temperature improves the blood flow. If a good amount of blood flows to every part of your body, your skin will shine beautifully. So what happens to the alcohol once it enters the body? Once alcohol has entered the body, it enters the bloodstream via the stomach and small intestine and is sent to the liver. Once it has arrived at the liver, it is broken down in two stages. In the first stage, alcohol dehydrogenases break the alcohol down into acetaldehyde, which is toxic and causes drunken sickness. In the second stage, acetaldehyde dehydrogenases oxidize the acetaldehyde to harmless acetic acid. And finally, carbon dioxide and water, which are then excreted out of the body. There are three types of enzyme involved in the second stage, and your specific combination of genes determine which type of the enzyme you have and the way it functions. Your reaction to alcohol will depend to some extent on your body type and ethnicity. As for Japanese people, about 40% have a weak type of enzyme, and around 10% can barely drink at all. Now I will give you some advice for how to avoid becoming drunk. First of all, it is important to slow down the absorption of alcohol as much as possible. One way of doing this is to eat food while drinking. Eating while drinking will tighten the pylorus, the part of the stomach that connects to the duodenum. This means that alcohol will stay in your stomach for longer, thereby preventing drunken sickness. Another way to slow down absorption is to use a chaser. In other words, alternating alcohol and water. You should avoid drinking large amounts in a short space of time, as this has the most damaging effect on your body. 
Japanese sake is served at a wide range of temperatures. Alcohol is absorbed at a temperature close to your body temperature. Therefore, if you drink alcohol cold, there will be a time lag until you feel intoxicated, so you might end up drinking too much. In the case of warm sake, there is less chance of time lag, making it easier to avoid overdrinking. Now I will talk about blood alcohol concentration and states of intoxication. First of all, please take a look at this graph. It shows the various amounts of Japanese sake absorption and the corresponding states of intoxication. Generally speaking, you can enjoy sake in a healthy way as long as you don't go beyond the mild intoxication phase. In other words, your blood alcohol concentration should stay below 0.1%. If your blood alcohol concentration rises above 0.3%, you enter the drunken inebriation phase. This can impair your memory, so you should be careful not to drink to the point of inebriation. To calculate blood alcohol concentration, you multiply alcohol content 1% base by the amount of alcohol consumed. You then multiply your body weight by 833. Finally, you divide the first figure by the second figure. Conversely, you can back calculate with an alcohol concentration of 0.1% or less to work out the amount of drink that is appropriate for you. It will generally take about 4 to 5 hours to metabolize 180 milliliters of Japanese sake, and about 7 to 8 hours to metabolize 360 milliliters, and 10 to 12 hours to metabolize 540 milliliters. Some people think that because sake gives them energy, it's okay to drink it without eating any side dishes. Don't be fooled. Take a look at this diagram. It shows the relationship between alcohol and proteins. As the diagram shows, people who drink with only a small intake of proteins will have a higher blood alcohol concentration value, the index for drunkenness, compared to those who have a good intake of proteins. In other words, when you drink, you should ensure that your body has plenty of proteins, as they provide the enzymes that are required to break the alcohol down. There are abundant quantities of proteins in meat, fish, eggs, soybean products, and dairy products. Aside from providing alcohol decomposing enzymes, proteins also help you produce bones, muscles, skin, and hair. So if you always drink without taking in enough proteins, you might end up with dry skin, rough hair, and low immune strength. Also, when you drink, your body will need all the more vitamins and minerals, so make sure you take plenty of vitamins and minerals while drinking. Extra vitamin B1 is required to metabolize the alcohol. Vitamin C will help break down the acetaldehyde. Vitamin E can provide an antioxidative effect. In addition, a rise in alcohol consumption will increase the secretion rate of calcium, magnesium, and zinc. You should therefore make a point of eating foods that are rich in these minerals. What do you think? That concludes the lecture on healthy sake drinking habits. I hope you have found it useful. I hope that you will drink Japanese sake in moderation so that you can maintain and promote your health while enjoying the wonderful taste and charms inherent in Japanese sake. Thank you very much for listening.